Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today I want to talk to you about the toy box. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So a few months ago, I went to the Bay Area Maker Fair in San Francisco. And while I was there, I paused by a booth which was showcasing 3D printers where kids were actually printing with these 3D printers. And that got me very intrigued because I have a seven year old daughter and I really, really, really want her to get into 3D printing. So while I was there, I spoke to one of the guys at the booth and I gave them my contact details and I told them if ever this goes public, please let me know. I'd love for, uh, for you guys to, um, to get in touch with me so I can do a review of it. Fast forward a couple of months and after talking to Ben, the CEO, I uh, finally got my hands on a review unit so I can give you guys my initial thoughts on this machine. So Toybox is a relatively young company. It was started about a year ago by four guys who decided to quit their job. I would assume they had really good jobs because three of them work at, worked at Microsoft and the other one worked at Workday. So I'm guessing that they really believed in their idea of sharing 3D printing with the young generation. So Basically what these guys did was um, take all their life saving and invest it in this company of theirs to produce this 3D printer. They work very closely with CreateBot. As a matter of fact, in terms of a frame, it's the same as the CreateBot Mini. However, everything else in terms of electronics inside and the way it works and the app, that is solely thanks to, uh, to the guys at Toybox. Now, the printer is actually very simple. It has a build volume of 85 by 80 by 90 millimeters. It has a graphic color LCD touchscreen and also has Wi-Fi connectivity. So basically you can connect to the home Wi-Fi, which basically then you can just print whatever you want from wherever you want. Now, while the printer does not have a heat bed, it does have this awesome removable build plate, which is covered in a Biltech type surface. Um, in order for prints to stick quite well. And apart from that, this is actually flexible. So prints come off it extremely easy. So setting up the toy box is relatively easy. All you do is either go to the website or download the toy box app. You create an account by simply entering a username and password an email address where they can contact you should something go wrong. And then you basically connect to the Toybox uh, Wi-Fi so you can give it the settings to your home network so it has access to the internet. Once it displays its unique six digit code, you enter it into the app or the website and you're good to go. Following that, the only thing you have to do is literally insert some filament on the printer and go through their very extensive library of um, ready to print objects select the one you want and hit print. Now, as you can see in front of me, there are quite a few prints um, here, um, about actually in total, about 65 or 70, but some of them have already been given away. Now, I've printed pretty much almost none of these things. The only things I printed was actually her, this little girl right here. And the reason why I've managed to print that is because I did that while my daughter is sleeping. So what happened was I unboxed it, I set it up, I printed this little keychain right here. I noticed that the uh, nozzle was digging a bit into the bed, so I adjusted the um, the Z offset screw in order for the limit switch to hit the, at the right place. And as soon as that was ready, uh, my daughter took the tablet, and she got the filament and she told me I want to print with it now. And that is all she has been doing for the past 48 hours. She has not stopped printing. So much so that she used the two spools that came with the toy box and then she came to my office. She's like, I want more colors because I want to print more things. And I was more than happy to oblige. I was extremely ecstatic to see my daughter so much into 3D printing. As a matter of fact, I pretty much left her to her own device. I, I kind of supervised from a distance just to see what she's doing, how she interacts with the printer and how easy was the printer for her to work with. And I think that was the best possible way because having this printer aimed at kids, why not let a kid test it out and I can simply observe and give you guys my thoughts. So it didn't take long for my daughter to start figuring a few things out. I've taught her how to clean the bed with isopropyl alcohol after each print for better adhesion. 
I've given her some of my tools like a pair of tweezers in order for her to clean the nozzle when she changes the filament. And I kind of gave her a few pointers what, of what a nice print or a nice layer would look like. As you can see, she took everything to heart because pretty much everything that is printed right here, except for this keychain, was printed by her. She actually printed many more things, but she gave them away to her friends. Um, and now she plans on selling these for 50 cents a piece at school. Now, as I said, I did print this while she was asleep. And the reason for that is because kids and patients do not really go well together. Now, my daughter printed pretty much every single thing um, that was under maybe six, 10 minutes. So anything over 10 minutes, she just didn't want to look at. So I just want to see how this looks and I'm quite glad I did because after she saw it, she wants to print more of them. These are characters you can find in the toy box library, which are you, you print in pieces and then attach together with connectors. So it's, it's absolutely awesome. Now the library is not all that you can do. You can also draw your own thing, which my daughter drew. Um, I have no idea what it is, but it worries me a bit because it looks like a Chanel logo. Um, so uh, that could get expensive going forward. So hopefully all will be okay. <laughs> you can also take photos and then kind of print them in three dimensional format in a flat three dimensional format, if that even makes sense. And you can also slice uh, files yourself and upload them through a PC onto the printer so you can print them. Now, while I was watching my daughter, I kind of took a mental note of a few things that I feel that would make this printer even better than it actually is right now. The first thing is the app. While it works beautifully, it does have a few bugs here and there. And honestly speaking, it's not that big of a deal, but I, and I know that the guys are working on it. So that is not something I'm really worried about. The one thing that I possibly could suggest, and I already spoke to Ben, the CEO of Toybox, and that is the fact that it does not have a part cooling fan. Now, while most prints print flat, as you can see, well, most of them print flat, it's not a problem. But when you have a bit of a curve or anything, it turns to curl quite a bit. And what happened was in terms of this, for example, I had a layer shift and this happened because due to the heat, the nozzle hit one of the parts that curled up and it kind of, slid the nozzle to the side. Another thing I noticed my daughter doing about two or three times was the fact that she started a print without actually putting the flexible build plate back on. So having some kind of switch at the back of the build plate, which tells the printer, okay, the, um, the, the build plate has been inserted in place so you can start printing. I think that would actually be a very good uh, addition to the printer. Another thing that I would definitely suggest is a timer um, and I'll explain. So my daughter, once again, no patience whatsoever. As soon as a print is ready, she instantly wants to take it off the build plate and well, play with it, whatever it is. And that would be for every kid. Now, the fact that this printer does not have a part cooling fan means that the parts will stay warmer for longer. So what happened the first time was that she printed a ring and she took it off the build plate immediately and put it on her finger and instantly sort of exclaimed that, wow, this is still warm. So I would definitely suggest putting a timer on the screen. As soon as the print is finished, a timer would go on like maybe 30 seconds. So the kids can actually see a timer and say, as soon as it's zero, okay, now it's safe to take the, the print off. And finally, another little thing. And that is that I noticed that every single print was printed at 210 degrees. Now for PLA, 210 seems a bit high, especially when it's printing at around 40 to 50 millimeters a second. Um, so that definitely could assist the curling part of things. However, I need to point out that I did mention all these things to Ben, the CEO of Toybox, and he confirmed that they're working on a shroud which can redirect uh, air for as a part cooling fan. They just have to figure out a way to do it in PLA that it works. So I'm really happy to hear that. He also mentioned that they are working on the temperature to test lower temperatures right to 110. Uh, so maybe about 205 or 200. They just have to confirm that whatever they print 
it works according to the speed they're printing at. And finally, uh, Ben was also very, very understanding of my concerns of the build plate and the timer. So that's something they definitely will be looking into, which I was extremely happy to hear. Now the printer is still on Indiegogo and it still has another couple of days there. So you're still in time if you want to get your hands on one of these. Uh, the lowest price for the early bird is about 249, which also gets you a free spool of filament, which I think is called printer food, which I think is absolutely awesome. However, if you are interested in this, Toy Books were very, very generous enough to provide a secret perk, and that is the 3D Maker New perk, which means if you use the link uh, in the video description to purchase one of these, it'll only cost you $199. And I think that is absolutely awesome. So final thoughts on this printer. I, I have to say, maybe I don't love the printer because I, I'm, I've been through a lot of 3D printers already and I focus quite a lot on quality. So maybe this isn't the best quality. But that's not the point of this printer and I completely get it. Watching my daughter these past two days so into 3D printing, just creating and printing and running back and forth as soon as she hears a notification on her iPad that her print is ready, she'll run out into the kitchen to get her print and then she'll come and show it to us and she wants to print something else. And this, this is it. This is the perfect stepping stone for a kid to get into 3D printing. And I, I'm absolutely in love with it. And I love the fact that, well, there's someone else in the house now that is 3D printing. Now, price-wise, 249, it might sound expensive, but, and this is my own thoughts, just, just thinking out loud. And that is, if you're gonna buy a present for your kids for Christmas, it can either be a $300 PlayStation, you know, or a $300 Xbox or whatever. This is a $250 machine that will literally spark their imagination and make them want to create. And this is the stepping stone to something more for them to enable their creativity and sort of just push them to do more. So I am all for this printer. It's not perfect. It still has a few tweaks there, but in terms of, ease of use, the app, the way it works. My daughter got the hang of it within a few minutes. So I'm, I'm all for it and I absolutely love this printer. So a couple of disclaimers. This machine is a beta unit uh, that was sent to me for an unbiased review for you guys. So the final product might vary a little bit. Um, Toybooks have confirmed that it will not vary by much, possibly the finish and all that. Um, however, it's just something to keep in mind. Secondly, I want to point out that no money has exchanged hands for this review. Everything I said today were my own thoughts on this machine right here. And I also want to point out that um, Toybooks have very generously offered this printer for my daughter to keep. If you want more information on the printer, I will leave links in the video description. As I mentioned, there will also be the link to the secret perk for 3D Maker Noob, which will get the printer for 199 Please bear in mind, this is not an affiliate code. There is absolutely nothing in it for me. This is just an awesome offer for you guys, whoever you are, if you are interested. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys or kids, whoever. <laughs>